the price of a pen increased by 20% and then increased again by 10%. What was the total percentage increase? Increased by 20% and then by 10%. So the total increase will be 20 plus 10 which is 30%. As you would have probably guessed, it's not that straightforward. Look at the number 100. Let's increase this by 20% first. An increase of 20% implies you multiply this with 1.2. That gives us 120. Now let's increase this 120 by 10%. The result will be 1.1 times 120. That will be 132. So a 20% increase and then a 10% increase will result in a 32% increase. An increase of 20% and then 10% can be written as 1.2 times 1.1. And that gives us 1.32. This should tell you that it is a 32% increase. Based on these lines, let's try out another one. The price of a pen increased by 20% and then decreased by 20%. What percentage of the original cost is the current price of this pen? This is interesting. Increasing it by 20% and then decreasing it by 20% does not result in a 0% change. That is the first thing you should know. We try increasing the number 100 by 20%. 1 1.2 times 100 is 120. And what will happen to 120 when it is decreased by 20%? It will be 120 times 0 0.8 which equals 96. This is the current price. But this is not what we are asked for. We have been asked what percentage of the original cost is the current price. It will be 96 over 100 times 100 which is 96%. The current price is 96% of the original cost. A 20% increase would be 1.2 and a 20% decrease would be 0.8. This product will give us 0.96. This actually tells us two things. First, 96% of the original cost and second, it is a 4% decrease. And if we look at the previous example, what does this 1.32 tell us? It tells us that it is a 32% increase and that the current price is 132% of the original price. <laughs>